you guys. In this video, I'm going to show you this really cool program called Gazo, which is an instant way for you to share your screen captures. Um, and this is to help you with your research and your projects. And for teachers, this is a good way for you to be able to take uh, images from reports or maybe during meetings and save images very quickly. And it is free. So you're going to go to gazo.com and you're going to download it. So there's the download one and you install it the way you would install any kind of software. And it's going to put those shortcuts on your screen that look like this. One says Gazo, one says Gazo GIF or GIF. We're not gonna go into that argument. And uh, what I do is I right click on them and I pin them to my taskbar where it pops up here at the bottom. The other one's already pinned. The reason why you want them pinned on your taskbar is you need them at the bottom to be able to easily click on it and take that uh, image, which I'm going to show you right now. Because when you're uh, taking that image, you're usually going to be on a website or on some sort of file, and um, you need to be able to access it from that part there. Oops, I am messing up this whole thing. There we go. All right. so. Once you install it and it's there, uh, let's say you're on Google and you search up the National Diabetes uh, Stats Report and it pops up a PDF. So in this PDF, you're looking through it and you decide that there's a graph or, or table on here that you want to add into your paper, but you can't right click it and save because it's a PDF. So this is why you come to the one that doesn't have the record doc because that's the GIF. Um, so you go to this, the one that's Schiazzo, and you literally just click on it and it's going to have a crossbar that says capture image and this is what you use to align it with and you just click and drag and you take that picture. So it's going to take that picture and it's going to open it up for you right away on the program. And from here, you can instantly right click and save that image, save it where, where, wherever you want to, name it, so you can find it easily. I already saved it, so I'm not going to save it again. And uh, there are some options to edit and do things up here, but I believe you have to pay for that. So that's not what uh, you really need to do. So then, you know, in your Google document, you can go to insert image, upload it from your computer. Uh, I named it test save there it is and boom it's there so it is really easy and what I really also like about Gaz if you click over here on this icon it saves all of your images that you capture immediately and you can even make folders over here and dump things into folders and organize your images so this is a big game changer for uh, researching. Now, remember, this was taken from another source. So if you're using this image in your paper, you need to cite the original source and give it credit. Do not just take it and say that it's yours or you are plagiarizing and uh, copyright infringing on this paper. So make sure you go back and cite the actual website and where you got it from so you're not uh, caught cheating. Uh, for teachers, some ideas that I used Gyaza for was during Zoom meetings, I would take screenshots because, you know, if you take pictures with your phone, it's going to look a little fuzzy. I did it for grades. I've done it for everything. So even if you look at my Gyaza images, um, I take screenshots of reports from the library so I can show, uh, show you what um, kids have um, books do. You know, this were PDFs that I went ahead and took screenshots of, so I could just include them into emails, and that is really what Gaz is for. So it's really cool. It's really quick to download and install. Um, so if you have any questions, don't forget that we do have a library website through Hillcrest. If you click on library, the website is here, and you can find my contact information and all the different socials to leave me a message <laughs> or you know where to find me. So I hope you can start using Gazo, and it will help you out with your research, your projects, or whatever it is that you need.